Hi everyone, welcome back to the Omni Studio sessions. In today's session, we will cover elements of the flex card. Specifically, we will cover around four uh, elements: image, text, field, and icon. So today uh, we are going to utilize the uh, money heist uh, images and characters to do or learn uh, all all these elements. Okay. So just to start, what we have here is a data adapter that I already created. Okay, so what this data adapter is, uh, does is that it brings out all the contexts where account name is uh, money heist. And uh, as you can see that I have created few of the contexts uh, and all of them are character from the money heist and which are under the account called money heist. Okay. And so let's go back and let's see what we have uh, here uh, as a op output. Okay, so I am ut utilizing ID and mailing street and name of the contact. Okay, so what I'm doing is in mailing street, I am storing uh, the image address. Okay, so if I go here and you can see this, this is the image address that I'm storing. Okay, so let's go back and uh, let's preview it. So once I click on preview, you can see that uh, this is what I'm getting uh, from my data adapter. Okay, uh, definitely this uh, this data adapter will be available on the GitHub uh, Omni Studio recipe that we have. Okay, and you can also find out the same uh, a flex card uh, data pack into the uh, description link as well. Okay, so let's go back uh, to the flex card here. I'm going to create a new flex card named as this and uh, 021 code. Hit the next. Uh, we have data raptor already created. Okay, so I will look for that data raptor. So I got my data raptor here. Uh, click on next, fetch. Okay, so if you have seen previous video that like uh, data raptors does this part, they throw the error. Uh, so what we use it to do is like we pass uh, any parameter here. Okay, so I'll go back and I will add the parameter here. Okay, let's go next. Click on fetch. Now you can see that we are getting our data at the save. So this will create a flex card and uh, once it's done, like it will also create a lightning web component. Okay. So now let's start with the first element, which is fields here. Okay. So uh, these fields starts coming like uh, once you attach any data adapter or your json array uh, and uh, you can drag and drop directly from here and it's not necessary that these fields are your salesforce fields like uh, as you can see that this image is not a salesforce field this is something that we ex uh, we created from the data adapter okay so straightforward i have added this okay so i will rearrange these uh, as well okay so i don't want the image as a text okay so let's explore what we have uh, in the element of fields okay so you can see we have the label and label uh, is something that you can also bring uh, dynamically as well and if you remove it it's not mandatory so if you remove it you can see that the label will go away right so uh, that's the one thing that we can do. I will add the label back. Okay. And then output is something, uh, let's say if the data is not coming into that particular, uh, like field value, right? Uh, then this output will come, right? And then we have the field type. Uh, so this is out of box feature, right? So um, based on your data type, right? You can uh, keep the field type here. Like if it is date, date, time, currency, right? And then you also have, uh, couple of options here so if i'm on the text uh, you can see like use the users locale but if i go to the date you will see few more options like date formatting and uh, if you if you click on the like use the user locale then uh, this will go away so whatever current user or who is logged in right it will uh, pick the date formatting from there right so a uh, couple of other options like currency are uh, the same kind of checkbox we have or if we don't want to like force for the user locale uh, 
then we can obviously we can add our own uh, formatting that we want right so if you go to the date time we can see the time portion as well right okay so let's go back let's move it to the text uh, and here you will see uh, all the fields uh, uh, field variables that you have in your data raptor and if you are using the sql or integration procedure you can see that uh, clearly here okay um, so i will uh, again add it to the id okay the next option uh, that we see here is conditions okay so this uh, attribute or this property like you will see in every element of the uh, flex card right so what it does is that it so you can add a conditional uh, visibility here right so if your data is not meeting the particular criteria that particular element won't show okay so how you can do that like uh, so add condition right um, so whatever field value you are getting okay this should come if this value uh, if the value is this right this should not come uh, if the value not equals to provided the value right so something like this uh, you can provide this right so all the condition that you have provided if the outcome of the conditions are true right then this particular element will show up right and you can do like multiple fields like you can see and or and or right and then we have another option called group so I'll let me remove this back right so how groups work is like so let's say there is something that you want to build a uh, one and two or three right something like this so, so your first field value or first field and any of uh, any of like uh, second and third condition are true right uh, uh, you you want to do something like this right so what you can do is like add a group okay then add condition so this will be your second this will be your third so here i will say or okay so first and second or third okay uh, so this is how you can apply the condition and visibility you can control the visibility using this okay so let's cancel it we are not going to uh, do this now our second element here is text okay so i'll drag the text here okay and then i will do the same okay so whatever we did uh, with the field we are going to do with the uh, text here okay so once you do this right you will see that whatever fields you are utilizing uh, you will able to see this so if you select the uh, any of the field that will start coming up here as well okay so you can see the preview as we are um, putting the fields right um, so typical syntax of utilizing a field in a flex card is like curly braces and that's it okay and you can add um, formatting here like you have styles like if you want to do some styling and then there are other uh, styling as well fonts and all right and as i told you in the last uh, element uh, that condition uh, conditions is the uh, attribute that you have in like all of the elements okay so this is how you can do uh, text okay there is not much in this let's go to the next one image okay so the image is something that we are going to utilize okay so here i'll remove this uh, i won't remove this actually what i will do is like i will use one field and this is a text okay hey so i will my name is this okay and the image address that we have okay so if you go to the image property we can see a couple of options here right uh, we can utilize a static resource or like content document okay that we have uploaded as a image a static image or we can upload over file as well right so whatever file we upload it will be basically a content document created and then uh, it will be uh, attached to uh, the uh, image okay so that is the uh, one option and another option is that you can bring your image dynamically okay so we have stored our image address in this img variable okay so i will use that so as you can see that i have applied uh, the variable dynamic variable uh, the image start coming up okay and then we have couple of css properties here 
okay and uh, pretty much what uh, html provides as a uh, image attributes okay also we have add action okay so we haven't covered the actions yet but in future videos we will be covering the actions so add actions uh, is something that you want to do if user clicks on that image okay so there are a couple of options like if you want to navigate or open another flex card modal okay so that you can do through the actions okay so this is over third uh, element image okay now let's go to the la over last and fourth element of this video uh, which is icon okay so couple of uh, attributes here icon name what kind of uh, icon is it like salesforce provides out of the box icons uh, so if you click on this search icon uh, you can see that uh, there are a uh, uh, tons of svg icons available right you can utilize any of them okay so i will utilize this save okay and then you can select uh, like what kind of variant uh, it will be like so let's go with the money heist theme uh, which is red okay so let's align a bit okay so we have aligned this properly okay and what i will do i will give a static height so all the images that we have should be equal uh, height okay so i'll give 200 px no that's too much okay let's go with the 150 okay and then 150 as a width as well okay cool or i think this should work with the 200 as well okay so let's hit the preview and let's see okay now you can see that we are getting our all the character from money heist uh, not all the all of them but yeah few of them okay so this is how we can utilize icons element uh, icon element uh, nay uh, text element field element uh, and the image element okay uh, that's it for this video and this flex card is also available as a data pack in your uh, in github uh, that you can find out in the description cool bye bye i'll see you in the next session